Hymns was about bringing hope and inspiration and a little bit of joy and Christmas spirit to all the kids at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Every year, we looked forward to it. We, we love to do it. And uh, I, I now live in Houston, but if we can still come back and do that sometime, that would be a joy for us still, even after two grandkids. I'm not too big to do that. Um, I would like to do that. Also, that's my personal connection with child. I've yet to be to the sickle cell center, but my aunt passed from uh, sickle cell. Um, so I, I had a close course and personal, you know, uh, relationship and firsthand experience with one who suffered from the disease. Very painful to watch her go through so much pain and to ultimately see it end in a way that hopefully none of these children will ever, ever have to experience because of the cure that child is going to find for this. Uh, so uh, I have a very personal connection with the whole cause, which is why I said, listen, I just landed from my plane at 5 o'clock from the Bahamas. We had a show last night, and I just landed at 5 p.m. and threw on my clothes and said, I have to be a part of this. I'm leaving at 2 a.m. to catch a plane uh, in New York to go back to Houston. But I could not neglect this great honor to come and be here in my closet. I would like to say that I was sitting there and this phrase just hit me. So I hope it makes sense to you and I'm trying to break it out and make sense. This phrase hit me. It says, the gift of selflessness yields a unique self-fulfillment. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's simply saying that when you uh, allow yourself to give selflessly, there's a fulfillment that you get that is unique. I believe God put in each and every one of us uh, compassion. A seed of compassion, 